also very important for us. Uh, we really look forward uh, to working more and more uh, with uh, all the chambers. Okay, we really do believe that only together we're going to go further. I know it's a point that I push, but it's a point that I've always used in business with our partners in our relationships and so on. <laughs> What the really the importance between Portugal and South Africa, the States? Uh, what do you see in the in the future, especially what you mentioned with the European Union? Yes, very good. We welcome this business forum between Portugal and the SADC countries. Uh, we believe that it is an excellent opportunity for business people from Portugal and from the countries of SADC to meet, to develop relationships and to build on those relationships to uh, grow business which foster the prosperity of our peoples. Portugal is a wonderful venue for this. We have long-standing relationships with the countries in uh, Southern Africa. We have very significant communities which have stayed for centuries in those countries. And we are a firm believers that the future of Europe lies in a stronger relationship with the, Euro the, with the African continent, particularly Southern African countries. It, is the theme of, it will be the theme of the Portuguese presidency of the European Union, the relations between the European Union and Africa. Portugal will be an excellent ambassador for African countries in Europe and Portugal will be an excellent platform for African businessmen to do business in Europe. We in Portugal will be uh, the uh, chairing the European Union uh, in 2021 and uh, we have decided that the theme of the Portuguese presidency of the European Union will be the relations between the European Union and Africa. We really believe in deepening that relationship. We think it is for the benefit of Africa, certainly, but mostly for the benefit of the European Union. There are, uh, it's inevitable that both continents and their constituent countries become closer and their relationship is interconnected. This is obvious certainly for the uh, closest countries in Southern Europe and Northern Africa. But we do believe that the potential the energy, the, the number of people and the uh, creativity that lies in Southern African countries can only work for the benefit of the European continent as a whole. And you can count that Portugal uh, and the, the Portuguese nation will be the best ambassadors for the SADC countries in the European Union and certainly loyal and trustworthy business partners. So welcome, Thank welcome you very much. to this conference. So you, you're here. That's the first time that this has happened here? In the conference, yes, yes, it's the first time. I think this is a very important conference because I think everything that will promote regional integration in Africa is something that is very strategic for the continent. So I'm very happy to be here. I, uh, I lead a group of companies that uh, operate mainly in Angola. Okay. Uh, and also mainly in consumer goods, beverages, uh, personal and home care products and other areas but uh, so industrial companies okay. mainly but we are uh, we have um, business in other African countries because we export to those countries but we would like to do of course much more yeah uh, and so I think this is you know, an opp great opportunity to um, to let people know what we do yeah. uh, to find out about potential partnerships in other countries so I think this is this is really important and I think that the regional integration I think is the way forward it's a key pillar of development in yeah. Africa in my opinion so uh, I'm really happy to be yeah. to so be you here. exporting already to the European Union or some some other countries outside of Africa we, we export okay we export to other countries in Africa but the truth is that uh, sometimes Africa is more connected to countries outside of yeah. Africa than yeah. Yeah. To African right, countries. Right. Yeah. Yeah. so to some extent that is a challenge uh, I think you know we see improvement in many in many ways uh, I think you know there's a lot there's still a lot to do yeah uh, definitely definitely and I yeah. think there are also challenges within within the, the region because uh, countries have very different sizes and very different levels of development yeah and of course this is when you are integrating different countries you need to also be aware of that so that some don't yeah. don't uh, take precedence yeah. over yeah. others but uh, overall I think this is it's very positive to, to be here and to be discussing yeah. these issues and, and uh, the products are produced 
in the, Africa. The products that we do are produced okay. in Angola. Oh, in Angola. In Angola. Everything yes. exclusively Everything in Angola. Everything that we do is produced, is produced perfect. in Angola. So yes. you think a conference like this will open up some new I ways think it's interesting to interesting for us because I think you know we might find out people that are interested about in our product in other countries, be it to yeah. export or to develop some industrial partnerships. There. Yeah. I think it's also very important for us as industrialists to bring uh, other industrialists that produce raw materials right, for our industries right, exactly, so that yeah. we have more value locally and so that, uh, yeah. let's say, the economy is more resilient that's and stronger. Perfect. So that's very important that's for great. us. Also. So, lots of success Thank for you. the story here, for the event, Thank and you. Uh, for your companies here. Thank you very Good much. <laughs> I'm Godfrey Johnson. I'm Chief Operating Officer of a company called Chemco in South Africa, but we have a global presence. We're in China, we're in Hong Kong, we're in Prague, we're in Zambia, we're in Botswana, and uh, we trade, as I said, mining chemicals. That's our game. Okay, so the, the, the conference today already, it's ongoing since a while, since this morning at 8.30, so we have two and a half hours already going forward. What do you think until now, uh, with the speakers, with the panel, uh, with the introduction of the different company, where are we staying? What is your personal opinion in the moment? I think the first starting point is to acknowledge that the participants here are here for business. Yeah. They're looking for an opportunity. They need to understand, is there something for me yeah. there? Why does this conference exist? It's to highlight the fact that there are opportunities. And as a chamber, we're here to assist you, as I said, make life easy. I mean, the Chamber's role, I always believe, is to answer certain questions right. for members. And those questions that they have is, where do I go? Right. That's why we're there to assist. Why should I go? Yeah. We're there to assist. When should I go? We're there to assist. Who should I see? Right. We're there to assist. And I think we're starting to communicate that message, and hopefully through the day we'll resolve yeah. most of these questions. That's good. And for your other hat, for the, the, the chemicals and the industrial thing, the, the companies around the world you also represent, you think there is already something moving? You have some, some intention from some companies already this morning? Well, let me put it this way. The good side is I'm not really trying to represent my company here. Oh, okay. I wear another hat. <laughs> I, I wear the hat of vice president okay. of the chamber. Okay. And uh, I'd like to believe that I could add some value to the, uh, in that sense. Uh, because the nature of our business is, well, Portugal is not a great uh, mining uh, country as such, so it's a limited market from right, a limited right, opportunity right, point right. of view. So we focus mainly on the big mining markets. Okay, in, in yeah, what okay. We do. that's a different... Yeah. Uh, but as I said, wearing my uh, hat as the vice chairman, yes, we're here to make sure that it happens. So, but it's already successful, do you think? The, yes, the yes. Perfect. perfect. I've Godfrey, met the right people. Good. Oh, yeah, and, okay, uh, that's important. That's, that's good. That's great. Godfrey, thank you, thank you very you. much and lots of success. Appreciate it. Thank Forward. you. Thank you. All the best. of TAC Golan Airlines. Okay, so the, the conference so far, uh, what you would say, it's successful in your venture? Well, this conference is an opportunity for us okay. as an airline. TAC is an airline who is based in Luanda, mm -hmm. Angola, and Angola is right on the north of the Sadak region. Yeah. So, and Angola has straight connection with Portugal. Yeah. Angola was colonized by Portuguese, so the official language in Angola is Portuguese, so our links with Portugal is very tight. Okay. So uh, our airline is committed to get this connection between the region yes. and yeah. Portugal. Yeah. Luanda is now serving as a hub to taking passengers from Vindu, from Johannesburg, from Cape Town, from Arare, through Luanda okay. to Portugal. Okay. We right now fly to two, times, to, uh, two destinations in Portugal, okay. Lisboa and Porto. We have twice a day flights from Luanda to Lisbon. Okay. We, flew, we fly a very brand new uh, fleet, it's a okay. Boeing yeah. 777, yeah. 300, and we hope definitely that this event will serve as a promotion Perfect. of our business. And we will help. We will <laughs> yes. help. This goes out on social media <laughs> and on TV. 
so the we will have to our fill the airlines a little increase bit. Our, our relationship. Perfect. And of course, TAG will be used as a way of connecting yeah. either passengers between the region yeah. and Portugal yeah. in a and cargo. Way, yeah, in and a cargo. We still have a strong cargo capacity yeah. between Portugal and, oh, and, and, and the region. Thank you very much. You, you're an entrepreneur. Yes, sir. Yeah. In? In South this, Africa. In South Africa. And I've been invited here uh, by Tim to be part of the SADC conversation. Yep. And basically it is to sort of give confidence to the investors that want to invest in South Africa that our political climate has improved, yep. uh, that uh, South Africa is evolving. We have women in business. We are welcoming anyone that wants to come and invest in the country. Yeah, uh, yeah and, and, and that's why we're here, because I, I know that many have the uh, misconception based on what they read on the media about yeah. South Africa. There's a lot um, of misunderstandings about land, for example, where uh, the message is, we want the land back. And mm. what is not said behind the message is that no, we are not cold people, we yeah. are people like you, Portuguese people. We want to mobilize the land that is idle, mm -hmm. not take mm -hmm. away existing like land that is active. Yeah. So we want to, the message is we want to mobilize land so that we can use it productively yeah. Yeah. for the betterment of yeah. the country. Yeah. So those are the kind of misconceptions that must be cleared and must be made clear. So we are here to have those conversations and Perfect. network and to give comfort and, and give confidence to the people so that we can work together. There's nothing as beautiful as diversity, right. working together, breaking right. out the barriers and looking at our future generation and paving way for them to make business uh, in the future easier for them and better. Information, that's what's missing. Or the right information. Yeah. So, but tell me, <laughs> in which field are you in? In okay. design? Okay, so I have, you're a business, uh, I'm a businesswoman. Yep. So you can't box me. I don't want to be boxed. No, that's fine. Okay. I'm, so, I would never do something like <laughs> I this. I don't want to be boxed. I promise. Because businesswomen yeah. yeah. are, are creatives. Yeah. Okay, yep. they are innovative thinkers. They are not, okay. So one of them is furniture. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. the Designing, second, producing, uh, everything. It, the it, whole it's line. Exporting okay. furniture okay. Mm -hmm. to provide the luxury living component. Okay. Number two, alternative building technology, which mm -hmm. is innovative technology in construction. We have, uh, if if you know the history of South, Af the South Africa, the South African government is re responsible for providing homes to the previously disadvantaged mm -hmm. for free. Mm -hmm. And with the innovation, it's uh, with the innovation technology, it's made that better and faster, and also giving the people dignity, yeah. so that whatever materials you use in the low cost housing is exactly the same material that you will use in the, in the class, middle yeah. class yeah. or the higher yeah. class. So that's what we are saying yeah. with that. And uh, the last one is the manufacturing part. I partnered with a manufacturing company that okay. is based in Cape Town that uh, manufactures mini substations, that's uh, oh, okay. ele ele electricity, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, switch gear, okay. and transformers. Oh, so perfect. those are my core business so then we should investments. So I have eggs in different baskets perfect. because I have many kids that I yeah, have to support. They, yeah, and to feed. Yeah. I, I totally understand. They can be I hungry. totally understand. Do you get it? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I right, right, <laughs> right away, actually. <laughs> and please, then we can make a little bit of advertising. Tell us your company's name. So people can Google and look up and uh, maybe order some furniture or <laughs> some inspiration or just talks and everything. This is Nonchen Dala from South Africa. And I'm here at the Nova U uh, University, standing yes. to. Next to this yes, beautiful uh, name, Dietmar. Yes, German actually. Dietmar, is that how German, I pronounce it? Absolutely right, it's German. You see, yeah. I have German blood yes, in me. Yes, so, so, yep, so somewhere absolutely. in my genes, I have Much it. Much easier than you. And name. we are saying, come to South Africa. We are here in Portugal. What a warm welcome. What a well received by your country. You are warm as we are. There is no reason why we shouldn't be integra uh, integrate together and bring, and bring business ventures that are successful for now and the future generation. Perfect, I go there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Sergio Santos, Secretary of State for the Economy of Angola. 
and you'll be here yep. since uh, this morning. Yes. And first, and you've been on the panel. Uh, I'll be closing. Yes. Yes, you've been conference, closing yeah. today. So, what do you think uh, so far with the conference today? Uh, we have entrepreneurs here. We have politicians here. The minister was here. Uh, it looks a pretty successful way already. In the past, we could go yep. in the future. Yep. I would say that Africa is exciting. Mm -hmm. It's a country that now has the opportunity of growth in, in the world. You see the world and you see that there is no growth. Yeah. But in Africa, there, there are many opportunities for growth. And Portugal is positioning, uh, I think, in an, a good uh, place because uh, SADC is the place where you see countries like Angola and, and South Africa which the perspective of growth is, is huge. And uh, from the production side, you're expecting also people, investors coming uh, to your country, uh, investing in production for the local market and even production running in your country for exporting. Yep. So going into European Union to uh, go abroad, to go bigger and uh, have the investors be very good confidence to invest to yes. be safe, yes. to be happy, yes. and uh, with the work, with the skills, with yes. everything, so teaching, uh, very big factors, so you look after all these yes. issues. Yes, I would say that in Angola we are developing all the value chains, Okay. Uh, but I would say that the food-based value chains are the ones that you can see uh, competitiveness yeah. uh, towards other offers in the world. I would say that tropical crops uh, tropical fruits, yeah. it's a big thing, um, uh, seafood as well, a big thing, which we can sell to the world, uh, making it in Angola. So we, as a government, uh, implementing a diversification uh, strategy uh, of our economy, and um, we are inviting people to come and to invest. Partnering with Portugal, with South Africa, and other countries that are with a big investment on, on fields like those would be uh, for us the necessary thing to do. So we are here at the conference uh, in a way to explain uh, investors uh, that op the opportunities are there and we believe that it's going to, it's, it's going to happen. Angola is going to really grow uh, with investors coming. Perfect. So then we're looking forward for the rest of the conference and your closing speech. Okay. So we will record this too. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for so talking much. to us. Thank you so and, much. And uh, lots of success. Uh, for for uh, Reed, welcome. Thank welcome you. Welcome to Thank the conference and you. welcome also to News Show TV. Very uh, explain us a little bit or our audience what you're doing, what you're doing here, why you're at the conference and yeah. then how far the conference is successful already for you and for your purpose. Just yeah. we start where you what's your background? Where are you coming from? What you want to achieve? Well, I'm from South Africa. I'm from the South African Embassy. Okay. I'm the head of um, a trade investment and tourism in the Perfect. section. Very important. Yes, yes. So uh, behind closed doors, I'm one of the people who worked with the chamber very closely, Tim Vieira and other okay, organizers great. to make sure that if this event happens and yeah. it becomes a oh, success. Okay. okay. So we are the soldiers behind the foot soldiers. Somebody behind. has to work. <laughs> <laughs> Tim already said Definitely. it works maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yes. That's great. That's perfect. Yes, uh, yes. So this is a first of its edition, the SADC Portugal yeah. uh, International Forum. Um, we hope that it's going to continue. We yeah. are gearing towards making sure that happens yeah. uh, and bringing it, uh, making sure that we bring high profile people here. But most importantly, that the business people have a platform yeah. for communicating yeah. and getting relevant information in terms of if they want to do business, yeah. where to go, how to enter a SADC market. Yeah. SADC is a big market. Absolutely. We're talking Absolutely. Over 15 yeah. countries. Yeah. So big opportunities yeah. there. What to do, how yeah. to navigate themselves in the market. So yeah, yeah. The, this is the whole purpose we're right. having this. Um, and even if the conference goes on the next years, there will be some experience from some entrepreneurs yes. and they can share with yes. the others. So that gets more dynamic to Absolutely. people. They're maybe a little bit scary or not knowing. Actually, it's a lot of, we talked already about mm -hmm. misinformation, yes. wrong information or yeah. no information. And the people get leaded in different directions. Definitely. Uh, and this has to be solved. And yes. talking and speaking out loud uh, from people they know Absolutely. what they're doing and what they are 
experienced you've already. You've nailed it. Ah, you've nailed it. <laughs> so the sharing of experiences, you've yeah. seen companies sharing experiences, yeah. the ones that know the market well, but also the upcoming entrepreneurs, yeah. how they can best yeah. uh, 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 network and meet up with other people. So yeah, very exciting. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a good future. <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. Rick, thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you, my friend. Thanks a lot. Thank you very and much. We will see us for sure again. Ambassador Tandi Lujabe. Oh, so that's a very nice, very nice name. And uh, maybe you tell our audience real quick why you're here and what you're doing. What's your, what's your background? I was actually uh, visiting, visiting this place because of that gentleman there who okay. works at the embassy. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes, and then he told me about this event, and I said I would love to attend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the reason I am here. And you enjoy it so far? I am enjoying it very much, because you know why I'm enjoying it? There are so many different people, yeah. and expressing themselves in different ways. And in that sense, then, you learn so much. Yeah. Because you learn from other human beings. Right. There is no way you can say, oh, I know. What is it that you know? Right. Nothing, actually. Nothing, nothing. indeed. Yeah. That's what my parents told me. Yeah. So, they told me, you know nothing. Yeah. Listen carefully yes. and learn. Yes. Yeah, it's a very so. Yeah. And which region are you coming exactly? Uh, I am coming from South Africa. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And there were... Uh, uh, in Johannesburg. Okay. Okay. I live in Johannesburg, okay. uh, but that's not my home. I'm from the Eastern Cape. Okay. Yeah, but because um, I'm a diplomat oh, okay. and uh, I was at Foreign Affairs in Pretoria, but living in Johannesburg. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that that a... was when I came back um, in 2009. 2009. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. I, yeah. But you had an exciting life as a diplomat. You see a lot of people, oh, uh, yes. and everybody yes. comes, and you go so, to places. Yes. And uh, very exciting see. life. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Mm. And now you relax a little bit more. Yes. And I'm relaxing uh, now a little bit more because uh, my my life generally was not an easy life. One, I was in exile for 30 years. Oh, okay. I was fighting the, the regime. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. So that's. You have all perspectives of life <laughs> through, or that's why you can laugh in the end. Or yes, that's, indeed. That's, and that's so yes, important. Yes. I appreciate that you talk with us. Enjoy the rest of the conference, and Thank we will you. see us uh, during the conference. Thank you again. very much. Thank you Thank very you. much. I'm Mamukwe the ambassador of South Africa to Portugal. Okay. And I'm here as part of the, the SADC countries. Okay, so and so far the conference for you is already a certain success. You can take out something already from the panel. We had the one panel already and some introductions. Yes, so far the the first part that has already gone by. It's exciting and uh, the focus into SADC is uh, quite uh, exciting that uh, Africa is becoming a focus now yeah. and the, the fact that it's happening in Portugal which is uh, a gateway to Absolutely. Europe Absolutely. and uh, we have a, a long relationship with uh, Portugal as, uh, as a country and as a region. Yeah. You have a certain perspective, uh, 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 industry, you want to wanna focus a little bit more or you're interested to, to come to South Africa in a, in a, certain, in a certain way? You know, the, we, 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 we have a diversity yep. of, uh, That's important. of, uh, of uh, focuses in South Africa. As you know, that uh, one of our focus was, is on agriculture. Yeah, exactly. One, the, 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 the mining is yeah. part of us. And uh, the ocean economy yeah. is also very important, especially now, during this era. Yeah. that uh, the ocean economy yeah. becomes in critical 
both on the basis of uh, education, of educating the, the populace and uh, getting the spin-offs of uh, saving the climate. Yes, exactly. That's the, yes. that's the point. That's exactly what I, what I meant. So actually the whole world is going in the direction what is good yes. and if everybody individual doing something for their country is doing automatically something for everybody yes. and uh, as you have young people you have entrepreneurs uh, yes. they they want to achieve something they want to stay in the country and and help the country uh, to achieve their their goals yes um, South Africa has got a large number of uh, uh, young people yeah. and uh, the, they are young entrepreneurs and uh, I must say uh, proudly that uh, most of the South African youth remain in their country uh, to develop their country because they understand the needs Perfect. of our country Keep the and knowledge, yet yeah. uh, we, we are not only confined to that to the country they as well fly mm -hmm. and, uh, out out and uh, you know spread their wings yes, in, into important. other countries yeah. But and come uh, back and bring the knowledge and, and, and do we'll something. And plow back into the country. Exactly, that's an important point. Thank you very much. Welcome to the conference and to the News Show TV. Uh, why are you here? Maybe give us your name uh, for the my, audience my is, and, and why, you, why you're here. My, my name is Gonçalo Uva. I'm uh, really good friends with Tim. Okay. Uh, yes, we have... Um, uh, I met him a few years ago because he, his, one of his passions is rugby. Yeah. And uh, I'm a rugby player okay. and uh, he helps a lot uh, with the Portuguese rugby. And uh, obviously the South African is, uh, is, a big, uh, is, yeah. is, is big in rugby. So yeah. I have uh, always this uh, connection to, to South Africa. Okay, so was, you've been uh, there? You've uh, been there? Uh, no, but I played, uh, I played a lot. I played against, against South African legends. Oh, okay. but one of my first games was against a South African team. I okay. have a few uh, good South African uh, mates because uh, I played with them in France. Okay. So I have, a, I feel like I have a connection uh, with uh, South Africa. Uh, I haven't been there, but uh, I want, I really want to go there. Yeah. So that's uh, and the, the conference gives you a little bit of inspiration or uh, ideas in yes. business. You're doing yes. Uh, yes. the business. Yes. Uh, I'm uh, now. I, after after my uh, rugby career, I'm in the um, events industry. Oh, so okay, I organize perfect. all kinds of events. Yeah. And uh, obviously, it's it's nice to. Uh, to know what uh, what's what's been doing in other countries, uh, it's, and it's always uh, uh, knowledge doesn't uh, doesn't take space exactly, out of our brain. No, exactly. Takes, I came here yeah. to learn a lot. To learn. To learn. That's and perfect. To, uh, a lot to network as well. Okay. So then the conference goes on, and uh, lots of success, and maybe we much. see us somewhere. Yeah, maybe um, we see I'm somewhere. not so visible, but you much more visible. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Um, so the conference goes on already half day, so we have a little break already. Um, what do you think so far with the audience, the panel, uh, the people on the panel? What is your... Well, I, I think at the end of the day, uh, what we had uh, so far is a clear evidence that it makes sense to organize an event like this yes. one. We, we clearly need to put this key stakeholders talking to each other so that they can A, identify what's not going well, mm -hmm. and, I think, and I think that's important, B, uh, what's going to be the outlook for the next few years. You know, a lot of people have been commenting on things that are so easy, such as why don't we sell more products between ourselves? Mm -hmm. And um, one of the obvious questions, the answer, issues was, because there's not enough political engagement mm -hmm. towards this end. Uh, but I honestly believe that, you know, political engagement, very often it's only the reflex of a set of very small actions by a significant number of yes. stakeholders like companies, uh, media, social media. You know, yeah, we right. all have to work to bring the attention to the fact that it's one of the largest market, single markets mm -hmm. in the world, what SADEC stands for, yeah. and that uh, we will all end up doing one thing, which is moving there as fast as we can so that we can put our footprint, and then when the opportunities arise, we're there, we're ready, yeah. and uh, we just take the profit. That's, that's how it works. Very, it's very difficult to make money yeah. when you arrive late at the yeah. market. 
So always, yeah. The question is, when should we start to invest? Or well, actually, when should we start looking at the Sadek market mm -hmm. as an opportunity, and when should we start to invest? Start looking at Sadek as an opportunity. That's what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. It's that's where we're starting. When should we invest? Well, uh, everyone has its own view. So absolutely. For some guys, it's today. For some other guys, it's tomorrow. For some other guys, in three or five years. So. No one knows, but one thing is certain, the market is there and um, it is a huge opportunity. 3,300 million consumers yeah. in a market where basically most of the other foreign investors are not looking at them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's when you're definitely a good entrepreneur, a good investor, it's when you're able to anticipate the opportunities. So, and if you cannot anticipate opportunities, probably you should work for someone else and not be an entrepreneur, not that's, be a business That's owner. definitely, but information is in, it's important. Info, the right information. Of course, you know, because only with information you can clearly anticipate what's happening. Right. Otherwise, you're just talking to yourself, you're looking at the mirror. That's, that's and, the point. Yeah. And uh, the, the, way, the way I see it, um, what people should start by saying is, show me the numbers, show me the mm -hmm. figures, and then we'll start having discussions. Uh, if we just start with the discussions and the opinions and not with the numbers, mm -hmm. the discussion will not be very fruitful. Yeah. Uh, so for me, the important thing is that we come here, we start talking about facts, people start to approach and say the reality they see and we will from there. Yeah. So this is a route we can grow to of a course. tree to do something. Of, of course, you know, and the, 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 the big challenge is why are we doing this in Portugal and not, for instance, in uh, London or Madrid, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because technically mm -hmm. all those countries would also look at uh, 300 million yep. consumers market and say, yep. I want my share of the pie. Yep. The reason why we're doing here is because definitely Portugal is uh, very well poised uh, to attract the early investors mm -hmm. because the early investors def by definition are not the largest investors mm -hmm. and um, because Portugal and Portuguese companies and Portuguese way of doing business is what makes sense for uh, the Sadek market. Okay. So that's why we are there doing it here. There are some experience and connections also there. And we have the, the right mindset. Yeah. You know, we, I always like to say that if, if you're a German company, most likely what you should do is find a Portuguese partner and then on, only then invest and in Angola. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's the, the rationale, which is Portuguese companies have a unique way of being able to uh, be successful in this sort of markets. Yeah. Is there? I, I like to have this this issue between. I'm I'm a German, yeah. highly oh. involved in German industry. So, yeah. uh, is this a common way already that German companies coming to Portugal join up with a Portuguese company and going? to uh, South Africa, how often? Well, for, for not for South Africa, I'm not familiar with exactly the approach for South Africa, yeah. but in relation to the approach to Angola, that's okay. clearly... Let's that's focus clear, on this, that's yeah? That's clearly okay. the mindset. Okay. The mindset is, team up with a Portuguese company and go. Okay, that's a good... Is there, any, uh, is there anything ongoing? Is there a program uh, mm. they promoting this or...? Well, I can put you in contact with the person that has given me all this information. Oh, okay. I'm very He's interested here. in He's this. Here. Oh, I'm very interested okay. in this. But He's there here. we can talk real, okay. real business. He's here. He's here. Okay. Uh, and Paulo. Well, okay. Here. So okay, you, you let's let's do this. Perfect. We're, we're so recording. I don't I don't don't want to say this on tape. Yeah, yeah. he's here. Okay, and I think you should you should talk to him. Okay, okay. So that's, that's uh, perfect. But, um, but the point is, there is no other country in the world where Portuguese investment and Portuguese investors are welcome mm -hmm. with a smile okay. as Portuguese investment in Angola. Okay. okay. So of that's course, Angola, Angola likes investment from all the countries. Yeah, sure. No, but the not? people, yeah. the employees, the, the business sector, they would prefer if there is a Portuguese in the middle. Okay. okay? And that's the uniqueness of the relationship between the two countries. Okay. Here's an example. If you're a Portuguese company, if you're a German company, probably you would hire a general manager from Germany, uh, 12 Portuguese expats, or actually, five German expats mm -hmm. and five Portuguese expats, and 100 Angolans. Mm -hmm. okay? If you're a Portuguese company, 
you'd probably just send the general manager mm -hmm. and all the other guys would be in Golan. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. And the reason why this happens, it's not for any other particular reason other than the Portuguese, for whatever reason, and uh, I'm sure we can explain it with history, culture, yeah. whatever, <laughs> but we can do it this in a way that Germans cannot do it. Mm -hmm. So it's good that the Portuguese are involved because it will reduce the number of expats mm -hmm. that the German company will need to invest in yeah, and costs and everything, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's a very good issue. I, I want to follow up with this. Yes. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Fernando Costa Lima. Uh, I'm a teacher at the University of Oporto as a hobby because <laughs> my main job in the past has been an investment banker. Uh, I'm retired from investment banking and nowadays I'm uh, advising the Angolan Securities Commission okay. uh, and also uh, an non-executive uh, director of Euronext Lisbon okay. uh, and also advising some companies. Okay. So the event until now, it's successful? It's a lot I've, of information? Yes, I think so. Yes. It's a very important event. Yeah. Uh, for basically for the Portuguese companies that want to diversify to a, a region that has a lot of potential to Absolutely. grow, yeah. uh, but where the challenges are quite uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so huge. there is some some hurdles to take, yes, uh, yes, and uh, yes. so events like this they can help yes. and uh, to come together. For sure. And uh, maybe for the future, if more events like this or this event expands, and some entrepreneurs having experience already in the location down there and give their experience to yeah. others, so then we can grow the event step by step that's, with good experience that's or experience sure. we can yeah. uh, share uh, to make it good. Yeah, and, yeah for sure. Uh, and also the role of the chambers of commerce yeah. between uh, countries, yeah. uh, namely because uh, in these markets uh, you have to adapt to the local conditions, right. local culture, right. and the, the chambers of commerce, they can uh, open yeah. the They're minds yeah. of the entrepreneurs uh, yeah. for these markets. Yeah. Yeah. So that's great. So thank you very much. My name is Rich Rich Prada. I'm a professor here at Nova School of Business and Economics and a former Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs and Cooperation from Portugal. Oh, then you have all the variety of all the things what's happened in different countries, a especially. Bit. Yeah, yeah you, you, lots of contacts to companies. Uh, they want to do something, they maybe see some hurdles and, and have some questions. We understand the big picture and also yes. hear the companies about some yeah. of the practical difficulties yeah. they have. Yeah. And That's the task is really to understand how you can link policy right. to practical business today, business problems from day to day that they face. Yeah, yeah it's a very important part. Well, if you go new to a new country, who you send? Mostly people, they work a long time with you in a company you trust but they may be totally wrong in that location. Maybe they've been there for vacation what once. What we heard today was it's a bit of both. You need yep. expertise, you need technology, you need ideas, exactly. maybe capital from uh, Europe, for example. Yep. But you also need to link up with local partners, local expertise, people are also maybe able to make things happen on the ground there. Yeah, so, and the, the conference until now, what you what you feel, what's your experience? It's already a success? I think so, because very often, both sides don't know each other well enough. Yeah. So building bridges, getting people to understand problems, but also understand where the opportunities lie, yeah. is absolutely critical. Yeah. So communication, it's important. The right raising awareness, yeah. raising awareness, communication, hopefully also closing business deals. So that we're going, one, one deal we can close, we can have lunch. You yes. have to go, you will listen so long, and now you have lunch. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. I appreciate. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Bye Thank bye. you. Yeah, my name is Deo Kasungu. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm from Democratic Republic of Congo, and I'm uh, the CEO, the founder and CEO of my group of companies. I'm in the media business. I have uh, movie theaters and uh, uh, advertising company, and uh, I'm, I'm now I'm starting a TV um, uh, a TV station and radio station. Perfect. So we're colleagues. We, we own the TV station, so that's great. I will so need your experience, yeah, so because we just started. <laughs> <laughs> so if you need any help, we're more than happy.
to help in all kind of ways. Really? Yes, that's be, the word. Be, be, it's on camera. Be, be, it's be on, careful because we are in the forum. We need actions now. Yeah, okay. Starting from today, we need yes, actions. Yeah, no okay. thoughts anymore. No, no, okay. no. It's on camera. Okay. We always can can bring it back. Okay. So that's our promise. News Show TV is doing something in cooperation here. In Democratic Republic of Congo. Yes, perfect. Okay. That's great. So, and what is your experience now in the conference until now? What what? comes out for no, I'm, you. I'm really happy because I was like, uh, okay, let me try to, because I flew from Kinshasa to here, yeah. to make sure that I, I was expecting to, to, to hear something and finally I heard yeah. that because, you know, in Democratic Republic of Congo, a few years ago in the history of the country, uh, Portuguese was the biggest investors yeah. and after political situation, they left the country. Right. And I was talking to Tim Vieira, which yeah. was my friend for uh, 15 years. Nice, that's good. I was I was telling him uh, we were talking and said maybe it's the right time for you guys, Portuguese, to think about coming back uh, in Africa, uh, in the SADC and in Democratic Republic of Congo. And then when I got the invitation, I was like, okay, maybe no. it's the right time. And then I was really impressed by the the will, by the positive attitude, energy, and. Uh, the decision to say, okay, no more talks, let's go back in those uh, SADC countries, and I'm really glad to be here. Perfect. So we enjoyed talking, mm -hmm. we'll get you back to lunch okay. and to the next part of the of the conference, okay. and we see you. So we did the deal, we have to talk, and how we're doing this, and put something in, in action. And only if, when you're gonna bring the image, the video footage of you in the Dem Democratic Republic of Congo, helping yes. us in our TV yeah, project? Yeah, 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 let's talk. Okay. Deal. Thank you very much. Thank Muito you. obrigado. Venho de Moçambique. Meu nome é Paulo Oliveira. Eu sou gestor uh, em Moçambique. Uh, trabalho em dois grupos de referência em Moçambique. Um deles com cariz português de Salvador Caetano. Temos presença em 16 países da África. E o outro moçambicano uh, em Telec Molding, que alberga uh, vários, vários setores de atividade. Vim ao, ao, ao Fórum SADEC uh, como convidado e como orador. Portanto, numa, numa, a participar num painel em que, cujo tema era falar sobre o meu mercado e, e, e claramente vir a trazer a, a experiência que tenho de, do mercado de Moçambique e da região também da SADEC, que é o nosso bloco económico dos países que nos, estão, que nos são nossos vizinhos. Perfeito, então assim, é importante ressaltar a sua visão pessoal, né? o que, que você tem tirado de mais o que você percebeu de mais importante, talvez, na, 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 no fórum do SAD? Que, que, que... É, é importante, acima de tudo, o, o, o bom e, 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 o que, e o que fica na, na, no final do dia, a importância de, que Portugal está a dar para, o, para, o, para a região da SADEC. A região da SADEC é uma região de África, que é um forte bloco económico, que é preciso estarmos atentos a ele porque é um, é um potencial ainda adormecido uh, com as dificuldades todas que, que foram apresentadas do, do mercado africano, mas com um potencial muito, muito grande. Pois é, já, já foram grandes parceiros e pretendem retornar, se eu estou enganado. Uh, Portugal tem uma relação umbilical uh, de irmandade com, com o país da SADEC, que é o caso de Moçambique e o caso de Angola. Claro. Uh, também tem um, uma diáspora muito grande na, na África do Sul mas a SADEC é muito mais que isso, portanto claro. é preciso olhar com o mercado como um todo. Uma região e muito claramente, próspera, claro. Claramente. Então é importante que se estabeleçam novas relações de, de parceria, de, de cuidado e de, de crescimento mútuo, claro. Obviamente, e, e, estas, estes encontros, estes fóruns, além de partilharmos as nossas experiências, são úteis, úteis também para, para o networking e para que quem está possa dizer na primeira pessoa quais as dificuldades, quais as oportunidades. E acho que o melhor que acontece, como todos nós, quando vamos a qualquer sítio, é termos lá um conhecido, um amigo, então somos recebidos de outra claro, forma. Claro, com certeza. Se nesta claro. partilha de conhecimento, nestes fóruns, nestes seminários, conhecemos, estabelecemos network, claramente torna-se mais fácil. Claro, entre amigos, a palavra fica mais próxima da ação. Ah, claramente. Perfeitamente. <risos> Muito ah, obrigado, obrigado pela sua presença. Ah. My name is Saki Makozoma. I am an entrepreneur and a businessman from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm here at the SADC Portugal conference to share some ideas about how we can make SADC work better how the, to improve the relationship uh, with SADC and, uh, and Europe through Portugal. 
and uh, what kind of projects uh, seem to be feasible and doable and profitable in both directions. Perfect, that's great. So how the, the conference until now, what you, what you think, how successful is it, what brought it out for you until now? Now it's halfway, more than halfway through. I think I'm, I was surprised by the quality of the people that are in the conference, both from Portugal and from Angola and from South Africa and other parts of the world. Um, it's always funny to come all the way and only find Angolans only in <laughs> Europe. And, and I think it's symptomatic of the challenges that we have. Uh, and I think the quality of the inputs has been very good from small entrepreneurs to medium enterprises to um, uh, corporations and uh, multinationals all looking at different uh, ways in which to penetrate these markets and to make a difference. And in the end, uh, I think um, the insights that one has gathered here will um, do us all good and uh, hopefully they will result uh, in a good business for all. So the conference, when we do it next time, so we do it again, it will bring even more entrepreneurs, maybe they have time already, they study the market and have some experience they can share with others, what is very, yes, very think, important. Yes, I think uh, uh, these kinds of conferences uh, become part of a lifelong education process because uh, business is no point at which you know, you know, I, I know it all and I understand it all. So to take time off and meet with other people and hear their experiences and hear their successes and their failures and their near failures is very important and I think for next time, as somebody said, I think the minister from Angola, maybe we should have it uh, in Angola and see what kind of different crowd we could pull together. Right, right. Um, and uh, what kind of different persons and personalities and businesses and continue because it is, as I say, business is continuous education. Yeah, right. It's going up and down and the market is changing, more people coming to the market when others making the first yeah, steps. Absolutely. So absolutely. they're coming more entrepreneurs. Yeah. So how is the entrepreneur or the startup situation situation uh, in Angola in the moment? I think if you, if you, in, if you look across the, the subcontinent, I mean so, uh, Southern Africa, the, in, Angola included, there are a lot of uh, 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 people looking at uh, new businesses and new entrepreneurs. The problem arises when it comes to uh, capital injection, mm, right. because we don't have venture capital as you would have in yeah. the United States or in Europe and other places. Yeah. And therefore, one of the things that happen is that uh, these startups are either go bust, alternatively they are bought too early in their uh, gestation stage, alternatively the entrepreneurs themselves leave and go to other countries because there are better ecosystems yeah, for right. developing uh, those. Right. So one of the things that we need to do is to make sure that there is available venture capital, the ecosystem is appropriate and the, the regulations and everything else that uh, creates uh, this kind of um, enterprise yeah. is possible. Yeah. So a comfortable feeling for investors, for entrepreneurs, a kind of more than less security, trust in what they going to do what they find, what they find on people and the education, how they can be trained. Uh, so all the environment for an entrepreneur must be somehow Absolutely. organized. Absolutely, including the fact that once they come up with a product, yeah. you know, the authorities, uh, because most of these are, have to deal with social, very simple social, uh, solving social problems, yeah. water, sanitation, right. food, etc. Once those things, those, those products are in there, but the governments will buy those uh, mm -hmm. products at the right price yeah. and, uh, and, and, and not be corrupt in terms of pricing and, and all those yeah. kinds of things. So it's a whole lot of those things, including buying the product Perfect. when it's available. That's great. So I think we're, we're going with this. We see us maybe more often, maybe even in South Africa for yes. the next conference. Thank you very much. I appreciate you come over here, enjoy the rest of the Thank you conference very much. Thank and you. have a nice, a wonderful trip home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Hey, Tim, the show is over more than less, or the yeah. conference. I'm very happy. <laughs> but it went very well. Yeah, right? I'm really impressed. Uh, I was happy with the speakers we got, the yeah. interaction they delivered. Uh, I was also very impressed with the people that came to attend. Yeah. Uh, I think we've all left here very motivated to start doing business in SADC. Absolutely. Uh, I think at the moment, obviously, there's quite a lot of... Uh, People knowing that uh, some of these countries are in crisis and this, etc. Yep. But now, when we heard today about the elections that have happened, stability starting up, new economic reforms, uh, there's guarantees starting to be given. Right. 
I think it's it's an opportunity, and I think the risk is not uh, risky. That, yeah, that's so, right. So you know, I'm, and, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, we we had uh, quite a lot of interviews yeah. from the speakers on the panel yeah. and some guests. They were all straight through very excited about the event mm -hmm. and they want to come back they want there was question even doing this in angola yeah. and doing something here and there so the the ahk uh, uh, was here yeah. they're very so helping german companies uh, uh -huh. what interests me personally very much mm -hmm. going over a portuguese company to angola mm -hmm. so to help them with all the experience there i think look for us uh, what we want is i'm not uh, the president of uh, portugal south africa I'm, yeah I really want SEDEC to grow yeah, because if yeah. SEDEC grows, South Africa grows, uh, if SEDEC grows, more people want to invest via Portugal into Europe. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably we will definitely look at doing this in, in one of the SEDEC countries. Okay. Um, I think it's got to be because if we want to work win-wins, we have to be close by to both markets. So for sure, I think uh, it's, uh, it can only get stronger. That's, that's, uh, you have something to say to the people that were not here? Uh, you missed out on a great forum. <laughs> There's huge amounts of business to do out there. Yeah. We know we have over 300 million people in SADC, youth, uh, lots of talent. Uh, like we heard, uh, there's basically opportunities in every kind of industry. If you're competing and doing well in Europe, you should start looking at SADC. And it's very important, you know, at the moment, yes, uh, we have Portugal doing well and some European countries doing well. But the world has become a very unreliable place and what's good today might not be good tomorrow. So it makes it very important to be able to be in various markets and, and with strategies for various markets and with growth opportunities in new markets. So if you didn't make this one, make sure you uh, uh, make the next one or come and join our camera and we'll look after you. Feel safe. That's perfect. <laughs> and now back to business networking, That's okay. the, after, <laughs> the after conference business networking. Tim, thank, thank you, you very sir. much thank for you. being here. Thanks a lot.